Welcome back everyone. In this video, let's add ESLint to our project setup. If you're unaware of what ESLint is, it is a tool for identifying and reporting problematic patterns found in JavaScript code. In simple words, ESLint is a tool that catches errors as and when we are typing the code. Yet another tool to improve the developer experience in your project. Now before we begin with the code, let me tell you that linting is developer specific. There are hundreds of rules that you can enforce in a project based on what you like and not like. In this video, I'm going to show some of the rules that I prefer when working on a React project. You can by all means add or remove rules from the list. All right. Our first step is to install the related packages as a dev dependency. So in the terminal, run the command yarn add dash d eslint, which is the core eslint library. Once the core library is installed, let's add the additional packages which support the core library. So yarn add dash d, and the first one is ESLint hyphen plugin hyphen react, which contains a list of rules when working with react. ESLint hyphen plugin hyphen react hyphen hooks, which includes rules for react hooks. Also, since we are using TypeScript, we need two more packages. So yarn add dash D at TypeScript hyphen ESLint slash parser, which allows TypeScript code to be linted, and at TypeScript hyphen ESLint slash ESLint hyphen plugin, which contains a bunch of ESLint rules that are TypeScript specific. Once all the packages are installed, we can define the configuration file. ESLint can be configured in a .eslintrc.js file in the project root. Let's create that file. .eslintrc.js Now there's quite a bit of code that goes within this file, which is why I'm going to copy paste the content. You can find the code in my GitHub repo and the link is in the description. All right, let me briefly go over this configuration file. First, we specify that the TypeScript ESLint parser has to be used as the ESLint parser. Next, we specify ECMA version as 2020, which allows for parsing of modern ECMAScript features, and the source type is module, which allows for the usage of imports. Next, we specify the list of rules our configuration must extend. We instruct ESLint to use the rules from the three plugins we have installed. Recommended rules for React, React Hooks, and TypeScript. Next, in the rules section, I've added some custom rules. We have disallowed unused variables, turned off errors for require statements, turned off errors from prop types since we're using TypeScript, turned off errors from ESLint complaining if React is not imported in a file, and turned off errors when the return type is not explicitly specified since type inference is possible. Finally, we have let the React version be automatically detected. Pretty simple configuration file as you can see. To make sure our linting is working as expected, in app.tsx, let's declare a constant but not use it. const num is equal to zero. You can see the red squiggly straight away, which indicates we have declared a variable but never used it. So the no unused variable rule is kicking in. There are a lot of rules that the plugins provide and I recommend you read their documentation to understand them better. These are the minimum plugins I would recommend you get started with. You can of course add more plugins based on your liking. 
For example, we can add yarn add dash D ESLint plugin import and ESLint plugin JSX 11Y. Here, the import plugin supports linting of ES6 plus import export syntax and prevents issues with misspelling of file paths and import names. The 11Y plugin adds accessibility standards into your application in real time. Once the installation completes, go ahead and modify the extents property. For the import plugin, we are going to extend errors, warnings, and TypeScript. So import slash errors, import slash warnings, and import slash TypeScript. For the 11 my plugin, we simply extend the recommended rules. So JSX 11 y hyphen recommended. Of course, I almost forgot, make sure to have the ESLint extension for VS Code installed. All right, what we have so far is great. But we can take this to the next level by adding a lint script. So in package.json, let's add another script. I'm going to copy paste this command and explain what it does. We're basically asking ESLint to fix any possible errors that it can. If not, highlight the errors in the source folder for any files which have the extension .js, .jsx, TS, TSX, or JSON. To demo its usage, in app.tsx, we can now reintroduce a linting error. Const name is equal to Vishwas, and in the terminal, run the command yarn lint. This will provide you with all the linting errors present in the source folder and automatically fix any errors that it can. At the moment, we have this one error, name is assigned a value, but never used. ESLint will not fix this, as it can be a number of possibilities, but this script, as you can see, is very helpful in the long run. All right, we have successfully integrated ESLint into our React TypeScript application. Our project now is much better at identifying errors while writing code. Now that we have linting covered, in the next video, let's look at formatting our code. Thank you guys for watching. Do make sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next video.